today we are unlocking a very special car so last video in the thumbnail i said that the mercedes was the best car of the month and i even said that in the video but i don't know because this might be one of them the the car that we're unlocking today and also it's another drift car and if you don't know i posted the drift car video this uh, number 777 Corvette VS number 43 Dodge and that now has like what like 130 views so that's a lot of views and I'd like to thank you guys about that but maybe we'll get another <laughs> bunch of views uh, with the number 77 Corvette VS or versus I say VS um, the 599 Ferrari Formula Drift. So let's get right into that. All right. So we'll, it's not a Ferrari, guys. It's a Formula Drift, just like the Corvette. It was not a Chevy. It was a Formula Drift. And there it is. I mean, how cool does that look? Number 117. 17 is my favorite number, so that makes it even better. So number 117, 599, GTB, Forano, I have bad per pronunciation, so I can't even per I can't even say pronunciation correctly. <laughs> that just tells you. I mean, look at this thing; it looks awesome. So obviously, it's stock. So we're gonna have to put the Corvette back to stock, but we'll we'll put it back into upgraded. And then we'll race these two cars against each other. The Corvette hit 300,000 in the drift video that I did. And um, then I was practicing my drifts during that week. And I hit like 3,000, 321,000. So, pretty awesome. So, the top score of the Corvette is 300,000 plus. So let's see if we can beat that with the uh, Ferrari. But let's take a look at the car first. All right, so here it is. Oh, we can open the hood. Oh, that's cool. Look at that, the big old V12 Ferrari. It even has Ferrari on it, but it's not a Ferrari in like the words of Forza. It doesn't say Ferrari, it just says 599 Forino. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that. The interior, nothing special because it kind of looks like every drift car, but I mean, it's pretty special because it's not a normal car interior. Man, this thing looks cool. I mean, this is a true drift car. So, usually, we'll just hop right into the drifting, but get this. Nice V12, but we've already heard it, so. But get this, this car actually has a history, so I can tell you guys about it. So, it's a very special car because it was, it was super unexpected, because, you know, Formula Drift cars are usually older cars that are just, you know, beat up cars that they strip down, they put a cool paint job on it, they put all their sponsors on it, and they go freaking crazy. But this, $200,000 Ferrari, guys. And I don't know how much money that is in different places, but in the, U in the US, that's a lot of money. So it was kind of just one of those cars that I was like, okay. We better not mess this up because there's no going back. This is $200,000. And it was more like a car that was just like, all right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna do something. And it's also very famous for, in its first ever Formula Drift event, which you probably already heard, it started on fire. <laughs> so it hit the wall and boom, it's on fire. Just like that. So let's pretend one of these houses is a wall. 
It did that, and then it started on fire. And it's first ever Formula Drift event. Two hundred dollars well spent. And then we will race with that. Oh, it's another uh, five nine nine Formula Drift. What up, brother? But yeah, let's get to Fortune Island and let's race this bad puppy against the number seven 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 Corvette. And we made it to Fortune Island. So we're doing a stock test first, and this car is the first one up. I already got a good feel for it, but I haven't drifted for like two weeks, guys. So this might be bad. Say, I mean, big wang. Look at that. Big wang. Look at that wing. It's beautiful. All right, we're done with that. Let's do a practice round, and then we'll do the actual round when we get back up there. Oh, great start to the practice round. All right, not a terrible practice round, but let's get into the real round right here. Uh, I don't have a score because I failed at the start of the practice. But that's okay. <laughs> All right, going in stock with the Ferrari 599 Formula Drift. I hope I don't freaking run right into a wall. We don't need a fire. Oh, frick. Oh, and the car's on fire. Oof. Hi, right, what's up, homie? Can't talk right now. Freaking making a YouTube video. <laughs> oh my god. Nope. And our car's on fire for the second time in a row. Don't fail. Don't fail. Don't fail. That's all I ask from you. Don't fail. Yeah, this thing will not freaking get a high score on the stock run. But that's okay. I don't mind. Will this be the best drift car in the game? In my opinion... No, I don't think it will, but I said the Corvette wasn't going to be the best car in the game, but I got new personal best, and I beat my Dodge Viper, so I guess it's a Drift King to me. <laughs> I was actually getting a good score on the stock run. I mean, it's stock, so... All right, almost 200,000. We'll write that down, 198,000 points. So, not terrible, but not good. So let's get the stock Corvette out here. Even though we already know what it is, it's like 176. So this thing already beat it in that, but I will still do a drift with the Corvette. Even though you guys saw it, like, what, three weeks ago? Yeah. And I still... Guys, thank you for getting that video. Like, 130 views. And and it ha it's not even a month old yet. Thank you. All-wheel drive. Oh, dang. Twin turbo. We actually get, like, engine upgrades? Okay. I mean, like, maybe you'll get, like, a new twin turbo or something. But that's a, that's a lot of engine upgrades. This thing's going to be fast. Oh, we can thicken them tires up. Mm. Thick. With the triple C. So the stock stats were um, 917 horsepower. It has 3,200 pounds. And now it's 3,000 pounds. And now it has, it has 1,500 horsepower. Hell yeah. I can't believe this thing doesn't even have 1,000 um, horsepower stock. I think the Corvette does. All right, we're stocking the Corvette Formula Drift car.
All right, the stock rear-wheel drive Corvette. I think it's pretty good, even stock, in my opinion. But it's definitely better upgraded. <laughs> it's so drifty. That's the one thing about the Corvette. It just wants to drift. Like, the Ferrari, I kind of had to push it to drift a, a lot more. But you could pretty much, like, maybe take a tiny turn. And this thing's already drifting. And... Not the best, but 137,000 on the practice round. I mean, I wasn't really trying to get the highest score on that. I was just trying to get the feel for drifting, guys. I haven't drifted for a while. All right. Here we go. See, our car's not on fire yet. Because it's not a Ferrari. I'm sorry, Ferrari. Do not. Just come, don't come to my house and beat me with a bat. With the uh, Italian gangsters, you know. The Mafia. <laughs> Ferrari. Every time somebody mentions that their drift car is on fire, they just remove the name in Forza because they don't want their name on it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's not our car, but it's our engine. That started on fire. I mean, it's not our engine. <laughs> they just want to forget that drift car. But now it's pretty good, I would say. I watched a YouTube video on it. I thought it was cool. It was fast. I mean, what, 186 miles per hour in a drift car is pretty fast. <laughs> Everybody's taking their... 599 formula drift cars on this track. You can just see a ton of them. They're probably looking at me like, why are you still drifting with that Corvette? Maybe because the Corvette is the best drift car ever. Will it beat it? Will it beat it? That's, all, that's the question I'm asking. I mean, it, it's going to be close. I don't know about it. Oh, it's going to be mega close. You have arrived at your destination. Nope. It did not beat it on the stock round. But the Corvette has a tendency of not beating anybody at stock. But when it's upgraded, it's pretty good. All right, 195,000 points. 3,000 points behind the Cor uh, not Corvette, uh, Ferrari. All right. We'll get the upgrades on from a month old video. So, guys, I'll just skip past all these upgrades. And if you want to see them, I'll put the video at the end. All right, so stock horsepower was 1,050 horsepower, and the pounds was 3,000 pounds. And now we put it up to 3,153 pounds. But now we have 1,500 horsepower. So they got the same amount of horsepower, pretty close. Oh man, I'm just so excited to see who wins. All right, I have n I haven't seen this Formula Drift car w with upgrades on it, but here it is. Oh, we haven't even designed it. Let's see what we have for designs. I mean, I don't want to get rid of this paint job. It looks so nice. I love the Italian flag on the side. Yeah, I mean, it looks cool, but. I like all the sponsors on drift cars. Some people don't, but I love it. God, that Ferrari V12 sounds mean. Wow, this thing is fast. Oh my god. I mean, it's 10 times faster than the Corvette. The Corvette has like 7.6 speed. This has 9.1. Dang, this thing is so cool. Okay, we'll do a quick practice round with this. I can already tell this thing's gonna nail this. Maybe, maybe, oh, and we're on fire. Don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail, don't fail. Yes! 
See, the, the practice round doesn't really count, and neither does the stock round because we want to know which can get the highest score in Forza Horizon 4. And you're not going to do it with a stock drift car. Dang, this thing is so fast. Oh, our car's on fire. Mega fire right there. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop making that joke. Ferrari might come to my house and they might hit up their mafia, bros. 169,000 on the practice round. Here we go, boys. And our car's already on fire. This car's just so fast that it's... Oh my god! This car's awesome. It has by far one of the best sounds, I would say. It sounds beautiful. Just that sweet, sweet V12. Concentrating hard. I want to get a good score. And I'm surprised I don't have 100,000 by now. This isn't good. Yeah, I don't think it has 300,000 in it. I don't think it does. Yeah. I don't know about it. I don't know about this. But hey, you never know. You get really good points at the end. Oh my god, I'm so focused. That was a perfect drift. I'm focusing more on drifting than frickin' uh, school. Even though we're doing online classes and you don't really have to do the homework that much. Oh, I could have drifted at the end. Oh my god, no. 233,000 or 235 or something like that. It's whatever. It's 230, guys. And the Corvette scores like, uh, what? 344,000. I mean, that's what I scored. That's my personal best with the Corvette. This doesn't look too good, guys. Yeah, look at this. It's a lot better at drifting than the Ferrari. Even if I don't beat my personal best with this Corvette. It doesn't really matter because it's probably going to beat the Cor or the Ferrari. Yeah, look, it's almost at um, 100,000 already. I mean, it's a fast drift car. Like, top speed wise. But drifting? I mean, it's good at drifting. It's got, it got three, it's just, I don't know what it has. It just has the feel, a better feeling of drifting than the Ferrari. Yeah. Oh, wow, I'm not doing very well at drifting at all, but wait a minute. Whoa, wait a minute here. You have arrived at your destination. Wow. That, I'm not doing too well in drifting because I know the Ferrari got way more than that. Oh, God, okay. Hold on. What? Am I really that bad at drifting? Yeah, look. My Corvette score right there, 344,000. Oh my god, I'm gonna fall. Dude, what is up with my drifting today? I'm actually kind of mad. Because I should be doing 10 times better. 
I have 344,000 points with this car. And it just looks like I haven't driven it in forever. And I mean, that's true. I haven't driven it in forever. I haven't been practicing drifting at all, guys. Let me be honest with you. I must suck because of that, totally. It's not because I don't have any skill with drifting. Guys, I'm not even going to hit like 200,000 on this thing. Guys, what is up with this? Am I just bad at drifting? I guess I am. Alright, I guess this was a fail. Because I can't score higher than 230 with the Corvette today. But yeah, guys, here's proof that I'm... Okay. <laughs> what the hell? Can I look at it? Dude. Okay, so... Here's proof, right here. Number 777 Corvette, 344,000 points, all right? So, the Corvette's still too good, and, I'm, and I suck at drifting, as usual, guys. Thanks for watching. I know this was kind of a fail, but uh, I should probably pull out the Ferrari for the outro, duh. So, yeah, I haven't been drifting in a while, so... Don't be mad at me because I didn't get a good score. But the Corvette is still the Drift King. But I mean, this car does, that doesn't mean this car isn't good. I mean, it's super easy to get and it's got a cool history. And it's just a really good looking car. Like the wide body and the Italian flag on the side. I mean, it's, it's awesome, it's perfect. So yeah, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to try some new outro music at the end of my video, so tell me if you guys like that. I'll see you guys in the next one.